we're here this morning with uh, Coach Jackie Sherrill. It's uh, Jackie Sherrill, first annual play shoot here at American Shooting Range, benefiting the 12th man kickoff team. Coach, tell us a little bit about the 12th man kickoff team and how you got involved in the, a play shoot. Well, uh, Dennis Discount uh, suggested that we have a, a, a shoot, and so he put it together, and so we're here. And we teamed up with MD Anderson. That's a great hospital for yeah. kids. And we were there uh, a few weeks ago, and you know, we had a lot more fun than they did. We, oh yeah. We, we're there doing a fair, and you know, seeing the kids that come down and smiles on their faces. Oh, yeah. And, and so that, there's a lot of good things that you know that this foundation does for a lot of people. Tell, tell us a little bit about the 12th man kickoff team. Now, my dad's a coach, my brother's a coach. I don't want to know, when you went into the coach's office and said, assistant coaches, we're going to run about 12, 11 walk-ons down the football field, and that's how we're going to cover kicks this year. When I went in, of course, it was, I went and watched Pastor Bonfire. Red Dead. I worked on Bonfire. That was my relaxed time. You know, I go to leave the office. You know what it's like oh, yeah. watching film until 11 oh, yeah. or 12 o'clock. So when I finished watching film, I would stop and you know, spend some time with, with the kids on the, on the stack. And all of a sudden I would stop, they're passing the red pots, and when I saw them pass the red pots, I knew that I could find kids that were crazy, that were tough, and had no regard for the body. And it worked. Oh, yes. and, and, you, know, you, you have a feel sometimes when you know things yeah. put like that. And there was 40,000 students. Yeah. And, and you know as well as I do that there's a lot of kids that play high school football that don't go off, but that right. doesn't mean they, they can't, can't play. They can't play. Yeah. And this group was trained to do one thing, to cover kids. And they earned their stripes. They'd go out 30 minutes prior to practice and have open field tackle. They'd go through practice and the varsity guys would, would beat up on them. You know, when you get guys like Ray Children you know, hitting you in the head or, or, or John Roper or Johnny <laughs> Holland, you know, you earn, you match it. And then they would stay out 30 minutes after practice and cut the kickoff. So they were trained to do one thing. And they were good for five years. They were either number one in or two. That's what I thought. Five. I thought it was all for high. They were number one two years. Two years, their average was 12.5. And you say 12.5, but today if it's 25, it's you're happy good. with that. Very yeah. Good. And then when I went to the staff the next morning, you know, all of them in RC says, "Coach, you sure you didn't fall off that <laughs> so They they really never thought it, it could work. Yeah. You can't take. You know, nine scholarship kids and cover. You know, and a pretty good league. Well, you know, against Everett, against, uh, you know, kids uh, that they had in Texas or, yeah. or Texas Tech or, you know, Brown from Notre Dame. Yeah. Or, I mean, there's a tell, lot of. Tell me a little bit. Now, we're going to catch up with Warren here in a little while. But tell me about at Notre Dame when he almost ended the 12th man kickoff team. <laughs> well, the whole story. And I, of course, you learn these stories years later. Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea that Chet Brooks and Tim Brown played each, against each other in high school, raised up. And so Tim had a go to lead foul. Oh, yeah. And with his number. And so Chet was kept on adding the guys on the 12 man team to take his staff. So when they tackled it, Warren took his staff. And, you know, Tim didn't like it, and he, <laughs> he ran him down and, you know, threw an elbow, knocked him down, and he got, you know, 15 yards. <laughs> and later when I talked to Tim, Tim says, you know, the referee sort of says, son, he said, I should eject you or out of the game. He said, but we have about half of the stadium here watching, <laughs> just here to watch you play. So I'm, gonna watch, I'm not going to throw you out. That's a good story. Do you think they'll ever uh, run 11 on down again, or do no. you think that's over? No, I, you know, you can't do it. I mean, I tried to do it in Mississippi State, Rob, but it, it couldn't be done. Yeah. I mean, you can do it at A&M. Uh, the problem that, that a lot of coaches are facing is Title IX. The, oh, yeah. AD, the ADs 
you know, to be taken. But could they do it at A&M? Yes. Yeah. You know, will they do it? No, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Let me, speaking of A&M and, and Aggies, what do, you, what do they have to do this year to win the national? I mean, I know the league they play in is going to be extremely difficult. Well, I, I, the problem that you have offensively, they're going to be good. Uh, they, they're going to miss shoots. There's no question. Oh, yeah. But the running backs that they have will be very good. Their offensive line. You know, they have quite a few guys that have played in the back. They're they're better recruits, better athletes. You know, Evans is a great player. You know. But defensively, can you replace the four seniors that you have? It's going to be tough. It's hard. Yeah. They'll have better athletes, and by the end of the year, they'll probably be playing better. But yeah. the experience early in the year is going to be hard. Uh, can they do the most what they did last year? They can. <coughs> You know, if Johnny stays, everybody is a big hit. But if Johnny would stay, then I think that with the, the amount of seniors that they will have next year, plus the young guys that they have with the new experience, then you could win. So I, they'll be good this year. The Rock to say we're going to be good enough to win it all. It's, su it's such a hard league. I mean, anybody in that league can beat you. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. You know, Vanderbilt can get line yeah. up. That's right. I mean, it, it, you have to come in ready to play every week. Talking about John, and this is, we've talked about how the NCAA works, and this is not a knock at the NCAA, but we have memorabilia signed by Johnny Manziel, and, and there's a lot of people making a lot of money on his back right now. Well, there's, you got to understand, he's, he's a phenomenon. Yeah. And when you look at, doesn't come around very often. Uh, you know, that 102,000 seat stadium, would it have been built without last year? I don't think so. Not as quick. So when you throw the whole picture in it, John Mantell has meant so much to Texas A&M because <clears throat> he took you from one point to the next. But just the feeling, just uh, of the pride that you have. Now, you know, everybody talks about that he should do this, 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 and this. He's only 20. Yeah. Let him be 20. You know, we're, everybody's expecting him at, at our yeah. own wishes <coughs> for him to be 30-year-old kid. Yeah. And he's not. He doesn't have the experience that a 30-year-old has. That, that's what Mosley told me. He said, Rob, just be glad people didn't have cell phones when we were out there. Oh, <laughs> that's exactly. But, you know, Rob, I judge kids and people by how they treat the little kids yeah. and older people. Right. And I've been around Johnny Manziel when kids come up to him for autographs and I've seen him with the respect to older people. <clears throat> a and is very, very fortunate. But Johnny came along at the right time. Oh, yeah. You know, If he had gone someplace else, would the story be the same? Who knows? I think Johnny was at a and at the right time with you know Kevin yeah. th to be able to guide him and to help him. And the good thing is you gotta let him play. You gotta let him be himself. Yeah. Eighty percent of the plays that he made last year, uh, were they designed? Probably not. But That's where you say don't do the yeah, do that. Uh, yeah. You just you yeah. just laugh as <laughs> yeah. a coach. Yeah. Because, you know, he makes things look so easy. Yeah. Uh, but you know, he's a competitor. That's one thing you can, you can, if you look at him in high school, all his life he grew up, you're not tall enough, you're not big enough. And then all of a sudden, the same thing right now with Perkins. You're not tall enough, you're not a pro quarterback. Yeah. So he's got a lot of things to prove to people. And, yeah. you know, people think that, that he doesn't work hard. I guarantee you, he works hard. He's ready, to, he'll be ready to play. I think he'll be ready. Do you think? That the NCAA is ever going to allow, like, not just Johnny Manziel, but these kids to profit off of what, like... Well, you know, the, the big suit right now is well, the NCAA making the money off of the video, of the likeness. Right. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. See, that's not right. And so they, they probably will not win that suit. Now, it's all going to be mute anyway pretty quick because... The major conferences are going to leave the NCAA and have their own. Yeah. How many do you think will be involved in that? How do you think that's going to be? It's going to be between 68 and 80 teams. 
<coughs> and, you know, Mike Sly, the commissioner of the, of the SEC, stated it very calmly about a month ago that if we're not going to help the kid, I mean, give them the full amount to go to school, then we need to go someplace else. Right. Which, what he was saying, that they, they will pull out and if there's any time that pulls out, you'll see all the big ones pull out the next day. How, how, that'll work with, do you think that'll be one TV network and just a lump money on them, or do you think it'll be several TV networks? Or? It's worth so much money, but the, the, the gorilla today is ESPN. Right. So ESPN. That's who controls all the ball games now. And they, they would not divulge what they paid the SEC. That kind of tells you because yeah. they don't want anybody else to know. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. I, I, I just think something has to be done. For, and, and I know the argument is, well, we're giving them scholarships, we're paying their way through school. But what what they're profiting the, off this and what the kids are putting into this, it's not enough. Yeah. The, the, if, you, if you understand, I mean, it's of what you bring to the university. <coughs> and then you come back and the NCAA has what they call a meeting fund. And they give money to every conference. And that money goes to the kids that are on Pell Grants. Well, if, if you have three kids in college, your son's lining up with my son, and my son's on a Pell Grant, and you're playing next to each other, your kid doesn't get that needy fund money. money yeah. That's wrong. That is if wrong. the NCAA gives money to anybody, they need to give it to all. I agree. And they, and they need to do it, and they need to stop it. <clears throat> yes. Right away. Yeah. Because it's just not fair. I mean, you, you can take a kid that comes in from the university, goes to the University of Texas, everybody's going out on Saturday night. Well, he's got a scholarship, but he can't go out on Saturday night. And if he does, he may get in trouble because he doesn't have any money. Well, the, the sad thing is, you know, if if I'm an academic student and I'm on a full, you know, endowed presidential scholarship, then I receive more than this athlete does. And that's not right. You know, that athlete should receive whatever the max is for any scholarship student. And these athletes are making money for the school. Well, I mean, Johnny Manziel made a lot of money. Well, that, like you're saying, that 100,000 seat yeah. <laughs> yeah, they ought to name it Johnny Manziel. Yeah, Johnny Football Stadium. Yeah. They sure, coach, sure do appreciate yeah. it. What a treat it is. And uh, Texas, go, go to uh, TexansAllSport.com. That's good. We'll be seeing you. Yeah. All right, coach, thank, thank you a lot. You. Yeah.